Star Wars Celebration is making a massive mistake that's going to hurt the average Star Wars fan, and it's so frustrating. First, a bit of context. I'm someone who loves Star Wars. I've never actually been to a convention, though. Part of it is the fact that I've got kids. I can't easily travel for a week, and you know, it's expensive to go across the ocean and stay there for a week. Still, I like to be involved as much as possible. When Star Wars Celebration is on, I follow the events very closely. I watch all the live streams. I try to see what booths are up. There's always a snag, though. Star Wars Celebration will generally generally show a lot, but there's always stuff that they keep to themselves. For example, they kept new trailer reveals behind closed doors. They never put those online. The only real look we got was from poor handheld camera versions. And the idea there is making exclusive content for people who are there. But everyone I've talked to or read about, which is a lot, who have been to Star Wars Celebration say, simply being there alongside the atmosphere is reward enough too, especially because tickets to the shows aren't guaranteed even if you do go. There's usually a lottery system. System. Well, it gets even worse this year because apparently they won't even be live streaming the event. Jason Ward from Making Star Wars reached out to a customer service representative from Reed Pop, who stated pretty unequivocally, upon checking online streaming of Star Wars Celebration Europe is not available in YouTube or any platform this year. Now, some people have argued, well, why would a Reed Pop customer service agent know that? And I guess I sort of understand the argument, but why would a customer service representative who works for the group putting on the con, be willing to make a definitive statement if they didn't know. And people are saying, well, it's ultimately up to Star Wars. And that is true, at least probably. However, you can't just willy nilly live stream something on your cell phone if you're a big brand. Like, you've got to have the infrastructure in place. That's something that Reed Pop would know. If they are deciding to go completely streamless this year, that's just baffling. Like, why not share this stuff with Star Wars fans across the world? It's already a very, very limited amount of people who can go to these events, and it's an an even smaller group who actually get to go to the panels that they want to. I mean, charge $5 if you want and throw it up on Disney Plus at least. You've got this big streaming service, why not look to get eyes on it? Just baffling.